Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. So I was working through some example programs in PictoBlocks for the TTGO T-Watch 2020. And then I had a chat with a friend of the channel on Zoom. And while we were playing around in PictoBlocks, he said, hey, you should check out Dabble. Now, PictoBlocks isn't always straightforward. You don't always know if these various features are related to specific hardware or not. So I always thought Dabble was related to a particular piece of hardware. But it turns out Dabble is actually an app for your, for your phone. And so we're going to be able to use Dabble, this Dabble app on my phone, to interact with the TT Go T Watch 2020, courtesy of PictoBlocks. So let's get started. So this is Dabble on my phone, and let's go into phone sensors because that's what this video is going to cover here. And you can see I've switched on accelerometer. I don't have a gyroscope. I don't have a magnetometer. That would be a compass. There's a proximity meter, and that kind of works sort of weird. It's just basically on the rear-facing camera, and it senses that I get close enough to go to zero. There's a light meter. That works pretty good. There's a sound intensity meter, hello. Obviously there's location with my GPS coordinates, no temperature sensor, no barometer sensor. Those are limitations of my phone, but I'm gonna show you how to display these various sensors on your T-Watch 2020 from your phone. So the first thing you see when you look in the Dabble category is you can set Bluetooth name to T-Watch BLE. Now, I've never seen any of this before. I don't know why it never dawned on me to drill into this. I'd scroll through here and go, wow, that stuff's all really cool, and I wish I could use it, but I don't have a Dabble. But instead, I've gone ahead and said set Bluetooth name to T-Watch BLE. Of course, I've set my screen rotation on my T-Watch 20. I'm filling the screen color with black, text color to white. Then we're going to connect to Bluetooth, and then we're going to forever loop and read the accelerometer X, Y, and Z from my phone. So let's get started with this. I'm going to go ahead and upload the code. Okay, it's uploading now. Let's see it light up here. Come on, baby. You can do it. Okay. Looks like I've got to shrink some of my text down there. So I'm in the Dabble app now, and I'm going to go ahead and connect to Bluetooth, and I can select that device. There we go. You can see the numbers are coming through there. I'll change the display. We'll fix that. Let's fix that right now, because it's obviously too big. What I'm going to do, let's knock our uh, display size down a bit. Go to 3... I want to knock these down, 120, and 180. Let's try that. I'm going to send it again. Getting that display right the first time is always <laughs> the trickiest part. So again, this is using the phone sensors category within Dabble on my phone. And that's right here, just phone sensors. Just, that's just one category. There's all these other categories. Um, within Dabble that I can use, and I'm looking forward to trying them all out. Okay, so again, we're going to need to connect to our device. There we go, we're connecting. Yeah, we're already connected, and you can see here, good, I got some pretty good uh, X, Y, and Z positions on there. And you can see it's responding to the motion of my phone. That's pretty cool. So we're going to start working on our next example. And it's going to be really easy because these phone sensor exercises really just use this simple bit of code here. So I'm going to take that out. And I'm going to change the sensor to my GPS coordinates. Longitude and latitude. We'll go ahead and change the labels here. And we saw that 60 is a little wide. I'm going to pull this out too. Put that back. I'm going to knock these back a little bit. We've got the same program. And all we're going to do is read the phone sensors for GPS, longitude, and latitude. So let's check it out. Off we go. All right, it's uploading the GPS example. And again, in Dabble, 
I've just enabled the location sensor here is switched on and you got your longitude and latitude there just waiting for it to pop in on the oh I gotta connect that's why there we go connect and we'll wait for that number to come through on the screen on the watch it should happen I know last time I did this I looked away for a while and then I looked back and it was there Again here, I'm going to have to keep tweaking the position on the screen back a little bit. I'm going to knock everything back to 10 here, because that just seems a little too far to the right. All right, there it comes. It just came through there for us. So you can see it takes a few minutes for the GPS data to go from the phone to the watch. I'm not moving right now, so it's kind of hard to see how quickly it will update. And it's not doing it at an extremely precise uh, point either. It's not telling you exactly where I am. It's telling you sort of where I am. Okay, so the light meter program is loading up. And again, that's going to read the light intensity on my cell phone and display it on the watch. So we can see the light intensity. Now watch, I'm going to move it in here. It's very bright under this light here. Yeah, look at how bright it is. Whoa, that's so super bright. See, I've got the phone up in here with all these lights in the light box. And it's super bright. And if I hold it up to the light over here, not quite as bright. I'll hold it up to this light here. That's pretty bright. Okay, so that's light intensity. We'll send sound intensity next. And again, I've just got all these uh, sensors switched on my phone. And we're just writing little TTGO T-Watch programs in PictoBlocks to read those phone sensors. So we're going to go sound. We're going to upload that. So in Dabble, I've enabled the sound intensity meter here. So now we're ready to check the sound meter. Yeah, you can see the sound of my voice. Hello, hello. Ah! Hello, hello. Check one, two. Hello. Hello, hello. It seems like Dabble has some latency every so often. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed getting to check out this phone sensor module within Dabble. And Dabble certainly gives you more ways to interact with your TTGO T-Watch 2020 using PictoBlocks. So I think you're going to want to check it out. All right, thank you very much. Give this video a like. Click down below for the links in the description. Click up here to subscribe and click over here to check out the TTGO playlist. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.